years, I hear this and heard that about how I train and how I'm not going to last and, you know, how the intensity is going to catch up to me and how my body's going to break down. You know what? If you train like this and you're consistent and you know what the hell you're doing, that you can last as long as you last. And I'm going to last forever. So follow me. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Like I said, ain't nothing changed with the time, baby. Hey, Johnny O'Jackson here. IFBB Pro Johnny O'Jackson here. I'm here at Destination. Man, we got some fun thing going on for you today. We're gonna actually go back in time while I'm actually in real time doing the same exercise, showing that, you know what, if you train like this and you're consistent and you know what the hell you're doing, that you can last as long as you last. So you know what, no compromises forever also. Hey, Johnny Jackson here, here at Destination today. Thursday is back day. Check it out. Hopefully you can find some stuff that you can use to help your back become bigger and better like mine, baby. There's always a time and a place for everything. So when you're training, remember that. There's a time and a place where you need to get real strict, really squeeze in, really flex, really get the muscle, get the blood pushed into the muscle, get that definition to get that swollen muscle. other times you still want to get a swollen muscle but man it ain't got to be fucking pretty it's just got to be effective and just get into it and grind and get it done <laughs> important it is to stay consistent to train your ass off consistently and focus consistently on your goals and where you're trying to go it's so important when you're in the gym I can't tell you how important it is and showing you this hopefully you see the past and now reality real time where Back then, when I started, people were telling me I wouldn't last till I'm 51. I won't get to 51 and be able to lift like I lift. My body's gonna break down, it's gonna fail. But hell, you just seen what I did. You get in the gym, you try it. And see how you like it. Cause I love it, and that's the what I do. <laughs> not enough said about focusing on self you got to remember we always reiterate how selfish bodybuilding is how selfish of the sport it is well this is what you need to take into the gym you know not walk around with on a daily basis but when you step in the gym you need to take that selfishness in so that selfishness will turn into focus in your workout so important 
And once you get that focus in your workout, no one stops you. But if you're totally focused on what you're trying to do, on your goal, on attaining the best physique that you can attain, you fear nothing. And that's one of the biggest things. No fear, stay focused, and drive hard. If you got those three things in the gym, could never go wrong. Just like I said earlier, there's a time and a place for everything. This was the time and this machine is the place where I slow down, concentrate a little bit more, squeeze, make sure you squeeze, make sure you come down, just don't go through the motion. When you're doing, when you're concentrating on it, when you're trying to be strict, make sure you go down, actually keep the muscle tense, come down and when you get down at the bottom, really squeeze the muscle, get that blood pumped in there. You know, if you want to go strict, do it strict, for real. Don't just say I'm doing it strict because you're going slow. Make sure you're activating the muscle and you're using that muscle that you're supposed to be using. So important if you're going to do it right. And like I said earlier, this is time and place where I slow down, concentrate, squeeze in some detail. So remember that when you walk in the gym, Take your selfishness in it, let your selfishness turn into total focus. And once you get that total focus and that tunnel vision, I'm telling you, you're creating something beautiful then. See you at the gym.